really. You had to make me sit there and watch that scene again. You, you really had to push it, huh, Crunchyroll? Or who are animated this series? Want to see Man Fall? Want to see Man Fall? Want to see it fall? I don't, I don't want to see it fall anymore, okay? And Rachel. Okay, I am, ironically enough, I am up to date, finally, with the comic on Webtoons. Free, by the way. Download it now. And I remember this part well when they showed Rachel's perspective. When they showed Rachel, Rachel's perspective, I like how more detailed it was. But at the same time, I didn't like how, I don't know, it felt like it was trying to make me sympathize with her a little, which I did not like. Because when I read the comics, even when I did see this perspective, I did not sympathize with her. She, even though they showed her side, it showed her being more pitiful, a pitiful human being in a way. How she was jealous and wanted what everybody else had. <clears throat> Talent, strength, knowledge, beauty, all that stuff. Charisma. Rachel wanted it all. She didn't want to see the stars. She wanted to be a star. One of the stars. But she has nothing, in a way. So, it kind of reminds me of a story that I forgot about. About an evil creature that climbed, um, that went to the mountains with a group of heroes and snagged the power for itself. Claiming itself a god. But the heroes defeating it, saying, you do not come here on your own volition. Therefore, the power was taken away from the pitiful creature. I can't for the life of me remember the name of that story, but I believe that's one of the things that Tower Gods probably had some inspiration from, probably. Of course, I could be wrong. Seeing this, we see how Rachel thought she was called to the tower, but instead she was there anyways, so proving that she herself is also an irregular as well. So her and Bam are totally the same, except for Bam was more loved. It's like he was the true star. This tower did not choose him, but instead he chose himself to go there because of Rachel. And and I love how the dude the get the first guy was telling Rachel about Bam, comparing her to Bam all the time. How about how Bam looked like someone out of a fairy tale story of a poor boy looking for someone he cares about and doing whatever he can to find that person and rescue them. He was the ideal main character, the true hero of a story, you know, kind-hearted, strong, and brave. Everyone liked him, even those who had a terrible past or those who were kind of on their way to corruption. They all came close to Bam, you know, and Rachel saw that from a distance. So for Rachel to climb the tower, she was told that she had to kill Bam some way. So she prolonged it, hoping he would die somehow, but it never worked, meaning it had to be by her hands. Now, as you can see, as watching this episode, you see it being orchestrated from the background. The director, and even the woman with the red hair and the eye patch, they're all working this out bit by bit, according to plan. They knew Rachel would do it some way. They knew it would be at the last moment where he finally reunites with Rachel and he pushes her. She pushes him. Oh, dear God. And then you see that scene over and over again. What makes this worse is, is, is everyone's reaction to Bam's death. Kun, Rack, even poor little Anak, you know, showing her little tears and Nursi felt messed up. And they're like, oh, really? Bam? Everyone was just sad and stuff. It's sort of like one green douchebag over there. <laughs> but everyone else was sad until Hansel said, We owe Bam, so we will repay him. And Rack said, Let's climb the girl to the tower. And while they're doing this, you see this girl standing up in her room. This bitch standing up in her freaking room. And she is laughing, man. She said, I punked all of you. Oh, God. Mm. Right in there, I wish I could jump into a screen and beat that shit out of someone, but I can't. Oh, man. Damn. I'm tucking my hands on you. But anyway. Like I said, I'm up to date with the books. And 
All I can say is, if you hate Rachel now, you're going to hate her even more. As the series goes on, she becomes more pitiful, more devious, and and it's just, mm, she'll make you want to throw up. <laughs> she'll make you want to throw up. Hell, even the other bad guys, I'm not going to go into this big spoil territory, I'm not, I promise, but even the other bad guys in the show, the other antagonists, you can see her as a cockroach, as a Ugh, girl, I don't like you. <laughs> or you're pitiful. <laughs> Imagine just being Rachel and everyone just telling you how much they just fucking can't stand you. Even when the dirty, dirty villains can't stand your ass. You know you, you went wrong in life. <laughs> God. But as much as I laugh, this, 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 this thought made me want to choke her out so much in, in the series. I swear to God, man. <laughs> Anyways, one of the other assistants, the studio director, two of them decided to quit. Well, maybe the other one forced quit to find the answers. At the same time as Bam did manage to survive, in a way, with the guy telling him what she wanted him to hear. But Bam still shows something else, but either way, it was still fine because he still wished to climb the tower. So he's going to train. As you can see, his hair is long again. So as you Time has passed. You know, it was when Bam first met Rachel, his hair was long, but Rachel cut it. But then, now, as you can see, it takes a while for hair to grow. Especially without any natural chemical products. So, time has passed. So, when will they meet again? You know Bam a lot. When will they meet again? We don't know. But the question is, why did this happen to poor little Bam? What is it that they want? They keep calling him the savior, the savior of the tower. So clearly there's something wrong with the tower that these people who are manipulating the situation want Bam to do. They want Bam to do something. The question is what it is. They want to climb the tower, but it seems like they want him to, I guess, save the tower. The question is how. My only guess is to, you know, go up to the top and kick who's up top's ass and Save the day. Question is, how long will that take? But apparently here, normal humans can live for a very long time, too, and still look young. So the tower truly is a very mysterious place. I'm even more fascinated. And right now, there's actually, um, it's on season three on Webtoons right now. I believe it's on season three, chapter 68. And if you compare Bam to the latest chapter to Bam now, you're like, these are two different people. Like he still has the same ways, don't get me wrong, but you can see the change. But anyways, prepare for a journey. I don't know if there's going to be a season two, and I don't know if, when will it be animated, if there will be one. All I do know is that it is free on Webtoons and read it there, people. No, all you got to do is make an account, download the app, or go on a website. But app is highly more recommended, and read it there. Support the author because the, even the art itself. I remember my first reading Tower of the God, and I said that the art wasn't really all that impressive in the webtoon when I was first reading it. But as time went on, it gets better and better and better. It really does. To the point, you're like, whoa, you look at the beginning chapters, you look at the chapters now, you're like, I can't, I, I can't believe this from the same person. Wow, major improvements. So anyways, this is definitely is one of my favorites. Um, I'm not sure about God of High School, to tell you the truth. Just saying the name High School with an anime is making you want to just kind of just, ugh. okay, I'm just tired. I'm tired of high school. You know? <laughs> but anyways, I think I've tried this on long enough. So that is the end. All 13 episodes. They're being dubbed right now by Crunchyroll. And and I haven't watched the dubs yet, so I can't say anything about that. But I, fingers crossed, for a season two. Fingers crossed. It will be nice to see. Hopefully it will happen. It, it, all you gotta do is keep reading the comics. Um... Buy the Blu-rays when you get out, I guess. Do whatever you can. Make them know you want this season, too. 
We need the season two. We need a fresh shonen. And for this to be really successful, we'll probably push even more other foreign graphic novels to be animated as well. There are some even French I would like to see animated to come true as well. So, that's all I got for this now. Officially done. It's been a one heck of a fun ride. I enjoyed the hell of it. I bet you guys did too. And wherever this leads us next, I hope you guys will watch me and my ridiculous crappy video quality reactions. <laughs> So, if you like this channel and you like what I do, like, comment, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon. This has been the Background on Man Signing out.